Hi there, welcome back. And we're talking about AEW today. And we're talking about the mandatory meeting that was called to the ring by JAS. And yeah. they had everybody in the ring who was a member except for Chris Jericho. But they played his music and he walked on down. And everybody loved his music. Everybody sang along. But when Chris Jericho got into the into the ring, was he happy? No, he was not, to be honest. No? Because he was like, why did you start that meeting without me? You know, I'm the leader of you guys. Was we'll like as a team, you know? Yes. But then, you know, people started telling how he feels. The first one actually was uh, Garcia, you know, Daniel Garcia. And he tells him how he feels about everything. And says, like, he's upset uh, that he pinned him. And he used a baseball bat on him, his bat. Yeah, because actually he didn't use it. It was the other. His, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, it was, uh, I think, uh, Tadoske. Yeah, he used the bat, the bat on him. And then Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho didn't really want to do it. But then he's like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll pin him. Yeah. Just to win the match. So, obviously, Garcia was really upset about that. He says he can't do this anymore. So, he walks away. So, that's right. He walks away backstage, actually, you know. Right. So, then um, Jake here was the second one to go up. And he said that, that Chris helped him a lot. He brought him to AEW. And he also made, helped him make a lot of money also. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. And he says that everyone, you know, like, everyone knows, yeah, they have a lot of money also in this business. He said he, he liked his hat. He, he liked his hat. He, he liked he, wearing the hat yeah. and, and for a reason because he was an enforcer. Yeah. So he says he also just walks away also. So we got two members out of the way just walking away. But then uh, Chris Jarrell says he's also proud of everyone that in, on his team, how they've been doing great things. And this has uh, Chris helped Ty Metal a lot in her career. And uh, Tay says that she wants to become a champion after she has a baby, but she wants to become a champion without Chris on, on her on his on her corner. Yeah, I mean that's gonna be a kind of weird one because uh, Sammy Guerrera is Guevara. Uh, Guevara. Uh, he's pretty much going up already. You could yeah. tell by everything. I, I do think the JS it did help him. Uh, but for her, I don't know. I mean, she was a champion before, though, right? I, I think so. I, mean, I think she was a champion. So, watching. so I guess he could do it again, and we'll see, you know. So then Jay also uh, goes out and tells Chris how she feels. And she says that she doesn't want to appreciate Chris anymore after the things that he did and everything. And that Chris and Ty, um, uh, I see Jay and Ty both walk away. And then Jay and Ty Mello, they both walk away together. So we're running down to a very few members left. Yeah, so I'll, like, I, I was trying to see who was going to stay. Yeah. And now um, Angelo says that he's been by Chris for a long time, even through the rough times, you know, by his side. He said and after that, he just kind of walks away also. So, I mean, everyone's kind of walking away at this point. No one wants to be with Chris anymore. I guess they both, I guess they all want to, you know, go their separate ways, go like solo career. Maybe they'll pop. Yeah, I guess because they're, I mean, they don't want, because if Chris Jericho goes with somebody else, that means he he's falling in line with somebody else. Yeah. So then how can they fall in line with somebody who's already falling in line with somebody? True. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's I don't like, it's kind of weird. Like you have your own faction, but then you're kneeling to somebody else. The the king yeah. is kneeling to somebody else. So then uh, Donnie Magic uh, gets very emotional when he starts talking, you know, because he's very hurt by this. They says Chris was in his was was his hero to uh, when he was little. Also, he said he washed him uh, growing up. He said he bought his first shirt yeah. with his first paycheck, and uh, he he meant a lot to uh, Donnie Magic. Yeah. So of course you now he just uh, he had no job. Can uh, Chris send him out also? So that he he walked away. Then now we have Sammy. He actually knocks the mic out of Chris Jericho's hand and before he started talking. Then he says that he's been with Chris even people... He, he's been with Chris even people don't want him to. Like he's still teamed with Chris. And he says that he's he's actually been wrong to, keep, to team up with Chris. So, okay. So then with, the only one that really says they'll stick with him is Sammy Guevara. Yeah, Guevara, yeah. So then he's the only one, but he just says, you know, but when you get your stuff together, give me a call. Yeah. So, I mean, he he didn't leave, but he didn't stay. So he's like in limbo, like, just call me if you need me. 
All right, because he knows Chris Jericho needs to make a decision here. And he, I, I, I thought he made his decision, but he hasn't yet. Yeah. And he said he'll make it next week. Yeah, uh, with the, he's going to join Don Callis, I think, next week. To so you're saying he's going to join? Um, I think from looks of it, maybe, yeah. I don't know. I think he's not going to do it. Really? Yeah, I, I don't know. From what I saw there, I don't think so. I mean, yeah, everybody left him, but uh, I, I still don't think he's going to do it. I don't know why, but I just think he's not going to do it. Now, all the members are left. You know, I'm I'm thinking that you know maybe they start their own faction. You remember what the um, Judgment Judgment Day? Yeah, Judgment Day. Yeah, before they had Edge in there, but they got rid of Edge and they took and they made the the faction more better. Yeah, I, yeah, that was a weird one because they all they all turned on Edge. Yeah, I'm not sure why they did that, but I mean they turned on him. But they 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 got rid of Edge and made them even better. But can anybody be a dominant force in there? But the Judgment Day is a dominant force. Yeah, everyone by themselves. I mean, even if they, they aren't dominant force, it's that can they recruit and create a new faction without Chris Jericho? So then, who would be the leader? That's a good question. Also, I don't I don't see a lead, a leader. Garcia, no. Guerrero, no. He's Hager? Maybe him, because he's a more veteran than all of them. Yeah, he's been in this business for a long time. Yeah, maybe him, but I don't know. He's always the enforcer, never the brains. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, we, maybe there will be have something. I don't see it happening, but we never know. Yeah. Or they can still all go through their own ways. Yeah. Which is a possible way. There might be a lot of some tag teams in there and something like yeah, that. Yeah, because Alan J is still with uh, Angelo and Danny Magic. So they both do their thing together with her. All right. So next thing we have that Alan Cole and MGF bro session. Oh, yeah. So they went to the, the uh, trampoline park. Yeah. And... MJF was like, man, I thought we were going to go to a bar or I know, something. I know, he got some chicks. Some yeah, <laughs> chicks and all that. And that would have been my move, but they went to a trampoline park. Adam Cole wanted this. Yeah, and he, this is kind of easy to tell. Like, you can just tell their two personalities. One is more of a grown-up uh, things to do, activities. Like, MJF likes grown-up activities. Adam Cole likes more, you know, fun kid activities. Like, either it's video games, trampoline park, everything. So then... But he said that he, Adam Cole told him, Jeff, you can even do dodgeball on this trampoline. Yeah, and I'm thinking, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> and he took it to heart and he yeah. went to go play dodgeball. <laughs> and this is a segment where I started just bursting out laughing. <laughs> he was playing dodgeball with all the kids, but I don't think the kids knew they were playing dodgeball. He was just throwing the ball at all the kids. Yeah, the camera cut to him and, he, and it's cut to him like grabbing the ball and it's throwing it at kids. Whatever it's the face, the foot, almost the balls, I think. <laughs> yeah, one boy. He told a boy, he told a kid that he slept with his mom. <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> and he hits him in the balls after that. Oh, and that's just how he died. I think that's the best one yet out of all of them. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Adam Cole's like, no, 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 you can't do that. He's and all. this little kid goes on to both of them. He's like, what are you two adults like, doing here at his kid trampoline party? Oh, yeah. It was something like that that the kids said. It was like a little girl. And I'm not sure what, I, what they said to her. I, I kind of forgot about that. I, I think, uh, no, MGM was to like get mad at her. But I don't quote this. kind of stopped him. <laughs> and he's like, that's okay, little girl. And then what did she do to him? Uh, I think, what well, I, can't, I can't remember. She flicked him off. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She flicked him off. He's like, <laughs> what? They're both like, what the hell? This happened. <laughs> All right, and next is we have now MJF and Adam Cole going to the ring now. Yeah. And uh, I, they're interesting, like, their theme song, the more I hear it, the more I start to like it. Yeah. And the first time I heard it, I was like, eh. Now I started hearing hear it more and more. I'm trying to like it now, to be honest. But, of course, they get to the ring, and uh, MJF says, I was telling about in the Midwest. How there's a video going around saying, like, in the Midwest. And he was, like, Mid-South, I think. Oh, it's in my cellar, I think. They're, like, they're, like terrible, you know, over there. And, of course, like, at the... And he's going to, like, talk to Jesus, like, if I lie... Like Jesus strike me like like lightning ball, I think. Yeah, he's talking about how he likes the Midwest. Yeah. Yeah, and he says if I'm lying, yeah, let let strike down on me. And of course he said it like I like the Midwest, you know, like, <laughs> like oh, that's gonna happen. He goes, Didn't happen. See, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> and the cross like kinda of cheering them on. <laughs> so that was a good one there. So then uh, Adam Cole takes over now and he says that how they're on a, a main event on all in 
it says like Alan Paul is of course gonna win, and MJ was like, "Well, hey, wait a minute here." <laughs> he started saying, "Oh, okay, so now we're going to main event all in." Okay, so you want a roast battle here? <laughs> yeah, roast battle, and MJF just goes off. <laughs> he just goes off and starts doing three teardowns on. I don't Should we call. see the first one here on this podcast? <laughs> I, I don't even remember what it was. It was just about how he's skinny and. It was that. It was that. If this was the eighties, we talked about how Amical is like pale white, and uh, this is the eighties. Amical when it's throwing him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So, oh, no, I think it's the Amical. I miss a Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Oh, Hulk Hogan would have snored him up. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's right. Uh, and I know Cole's like, wait, no, no. But MJF was in a row. Yeah, he was in like three. He was to the camera. Remember that? Yeah, he was like real quick. <laughs> he's like on the camera. So he might make fun of Adam Cole and everything. <laughs> and I was like, like wait, wait a minute. No, that's just like what I meant. He, he kind of like raises his voice on him. I wonder how Adam Cole felt. Like, man, that was real quick. You, <laughs> yeah, you got on me real quick. <laughs> All right, so then uh, Adam Cole says, no, 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 that's not what I want. Yeah, and um, I think they say some stuff after that. Then Adam Cole starts talking about All In again, about how they're going to main event it, you know. But he says, wouldn't it be awesome if, uh, if uh, Better Than Your Baby won some tag team titles, you know, both Adam Cole and MGF. They start talking about like, how All In has his zero hour before the show starts, which is about an, an hour of a kickoff show. And so he says, like, how about we have a match, a tag team match for the tag team titles at all, at all in? Oh, it was at all in? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Because okay. they have that zero hour. It's, it's like kickoff show. All right. So then they want to have a tag match for the, I think, the Ring of Honor, right? Yeah, Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor. <laughs> so MJF says, like, wait a minute. Do you see some want me to wrestle two times in one night? And I was like, yeah, for, for sure. You know, we can possibly win these titles. Then, of course, MJ was all like, uh, he sounded unsure about it. Then you hear the crowd start and said, like, do it, do it, like, do the match. So uh, MJ says, you know what? And we're doing the match. And I'll end. So the match is going to be against um, Ozzy Open, I think. Yeah. All right. So that'd be pretty good. It'd be good to watch. That way you actually get a, wa- a match to see before the actual show starts. Yeah. So this going to be a great night for both of them, uh, MJ and Alan Cole. If they win. Yeah. I think one. So I mean, this is be a, a good two matches. I think these two matches are most a highlight of the pay per view. All right. Yes, I think so. So I hope they they can do it as well. All right. Well, don't forget, James will have the social media stuff down in the description below. And as always, this if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Can you know, I appreciate that for you? I mean, it really helps the channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Peace.